Nevada can boast of many things, and rightfully so. This resort hotel on the famous Strip is known the world over for its warm and friendly atmosphere. Here, the visitor will learn that recreation is truly unlimited. From his room, the guest can look out upon a scene of tropical splendor. The patio and pool area is always a very popular place with the vacationer. Here one can spend many carefree hours swimming in the Olympic-sized pool or getting a coat of tan, just relaxing in the warm Nevada sunshine. Almost every day, famous personalities of the entertainment world can be seen poolside, taking time out from the strain of show business. British actor, author, and playwright Noel Coward chats with actress Kay Thompson about his latest venture as a nightclub entertainer. On or off the stage or screen, the vibrant personality of lovely Jane Powell is always present. Nelson Eddy and Gail Sherwood pose for the camera with a big smile. Singing star Johnny Ray pauses to light a cigarette while telling friends what a wonderful time he's having. Metropolitan Opera star Jan Pierce, with his wife and daughter, admire the beautiful landscaping that surrounds the pool. News photographers have a holiday when Kyoko Otani, Miss Japan, who was chosen to represent her country in the Miss Universe contest, appears in the patio, giving an international flavor to this otherwise Western atmosphere. This might look like an exhibition in diving techniques, and well, it might be. However, these young people are not paid performers, but guests who find the high and low diving boards a good place to have some fun. Onlookers who gather around the pool often witness amateur entertainment like this. Speaking of professionals, here is the young and talented actress, Gina Gennardi. She's informed us that we hadn't seen anything until we watched her on the high diving board. Oh, no! Well, as long as you come up with a finish like this, we'll forgive you, Gina. Wilbur Clark, the genial host at the inn which bears his name, and his charming wife, Tony, are often seen in the patio greeting old friends. Mr. Clark was among the first to pioneer the development of what is considered the most exciting three miles in the world, Las Vegas' famous strip. While his civic duties are many, he always finds time to meet his guests. The Country Club, located only a short distance from the pool area, provides the golfer, professional or amateur alike, with every service. Additional facilities recently added house a spacious dining room, club room, and a terrace on the roof where dances are held under the stars for the enjoyment of everyone. From the clubhouse roof, one can get an unobstructed view of the entire 165 acres that comprise the 18-hole championship golf course, rated as being one of the finest in the world. This championship course, landscaped with more than 5,000 trees and shrubs, seven lagoons, and 42 sand traps, proves a real challenge to both the amateur and professional golfer. The entire course is laid out so as to reduce the physical strain on the player as much as possible. Musical comedy star Ray Bolger steps up to tee off. Take it easy, Ray. Watch your stance. Oh, well, let's try again. You're leaning too much. 
Come on, you can do it. Nice swing. Uh-oh. Sorry. Better luck next time. While waiting for Ray Bolger to tee off, comedian Peter Lind Hayes and screen star Gordon McRae do a little clowning for the club's pro, Howard Capps. The grass seed used on the putting greens was selected after many types had been tested. Its cushion effect, together with the almost perfect uniformity with which it grows, not only adds beauty to each green, but provides the player with a surface that helps him with his putting. This popular sport is by no means strictly a man's game. No, indeed. The ladies, too, find it to be an excellent way to get their exercise. The annual Tournament of Champions is preceded by a putting contest, and singer Frankie Lane is introducing a galaxy of stars who are present. The McGuire sisters, well known for the many hit recordings, sing a medley of numbers, much to the enjoyment of the crowd. The always popular Phil Harris seems to be absorbed by something that our camera cannot pick up. French actress Denise Darcel listens intently to a friend. Ken Blackouts and the star of his show, Marie Wilson, are engaged in some picture taking of their own. Eddie Fisher and his talented wife, Debbie Reynolds, watch with interest as the contest is about to get underway. Screen actress Mamie Van Doren, who will act as honorary referee during the contest, welcomes the spectators and thanks them for their attendance. Tournament chairman Alad Rohn, Nevada's Governor Russell, Wilbur Clark, and Maury Lexford pose for pictures. Columnist Walter Winchell and Bing Crosby, who will play against one another in the putting contest, choose up Sandlot style to determine which one will go first. Each year, the Tournament of Champions brings to Las Vegas the outstanding players in the field of golf. Proceeds from the event are turned over to the Damon Runyon Cancer Fund, a foundation that is doing so much to help scientific research in its fight against that dreaded disease. Wilbur Clark's Desert Inn is grateful that it is privileged to contribute to such a worthy cause. In previous years, Bob Hope has played in this fundraising event with Walter Winchell as his opponent. Like all people in show business, he never fails to respond when called upon to take part in any worthwhile project. Overlooking the patio, there is a health club with facilities for both men and women. the interesting things that the vacationer might wish to see or do are not confined to Las Vegas itself. The countryside adjacent to Las Vegas abounds with many historical as well as modern places of interest. One of the most popular sightseeing trips covers the Hoover Dam Lake Mead area and is reached via divided express highway in only a matter of minutes. U.S. Highway 95 passes directly over Hoover Dam. The center of the dam marks the state boundary line between Nevada and Arizona. Towering to a height of 726 feet, the highest structure of its kind in the Western Hemisphere. This concrete giant is one of America's outstanding tourist attractions.
Hoover Dam holds back the waters of the Colorado River, forming Lake Mead. Lake Mead, the largest man-made lake in the world, is 115 miles long. Bass fishing and all types of water sports are enjoyed the year round. The Lake Mead Hoover Dam Recreation Area is under the supervision of the United States Bureau of Reclamation and the National Park Service. When the lake is at its full depth, it contains enough water to cover the entire state of New York one foot deep. Passing through Boulder Canyon, which leads into Upper Lake Mead and the mouth of the Grand Canyon, we are looking at the originally suggested location for Hoover Dam. Its sheer rocky cliffs towering hundreds of feet skyward presents an inspiring sight. Millions of tourists who have visited the area will tell you that long after they have returned to their homes, the scenic grandeur of this man-made wonder lingers among their fondest memories. At night, Las Vegas is the gay white way of the West. Multicolored signs of the downtown clubs tell you that it's fun time at the entertainment capital of the world. The show sign in front of our hotel reveals the names of many top stars in the theatrical world. Internationally famous personalities who have appeared at the inn's painted desert room. One of the most popular supper clubs in the desert resort city, the painted desert room is considered by some of the nation's top colonists as having production numbers second to none. two shows every night, and a visit to the Painter Desert Room is a pleasant experience that will long be remembered. The house lights dim, and the show is on. Guests are spellbound by the dazzling display of colorful costumes and the realistic background that portrays the Venetian atmosphere for which this number was created. The Don Arden dancers go through their routine with a rhythm and precision that could easily be envied by any of Broadway's top musical directors. The songs of Patty Page always thrill the patrons of the Painted Desert Room. The colorful spectacle, Dancing Waters, is staged in the patio, free of charge, for all those who care to witness this magnificent display, set to music fitting the mood. From dusk to dawn, there's entertainment in the Lady Luck Lounge. The Midnight Buffet, a tempting display of delicious food prepared by chefs to please the most exacting gourmet. The Sky Room Lounge, high atop our hotel, overlooking Las Vegas' famous strip, is one of the most popular spots in town with the after-theater crowds. Here, old friendships are renewed and new friends are made. Many of Hollywood's brightest stars find this room with its cosmopolitan atmosphere an ideal place to host their friends during their stay at Las Vegas. Las Vegas can boast of many things. It makes little difference what the visitor's pleasure might be. He will find it here. This is the place, whether dressed in mink or blue jeans, where everyone receives the same hospitality. Where the slogan, come as you are, has a real meaning. A city that extends to the visitor a hometown welcome. Glorious days and glamorous nights with their round-the-clock activities. Yes, Las Vegas is truly America's favorite playground, where recreation is unlimited. Unlimited.